Well, good day. Hey, welcome to Frog Hair Farm, uh, City Edition, once again. We're in the uh, bee pasture, quote unquote. What well, will be the bee pasture? How about that? That's better. So, um, <clears throat> what I'm up to here today is, uh, if you happen to see, not very many people have, the clover fail video, you'll know that this field behind me, I planted clover in all last uh, uh, November, frost seeded clover, and it didn't take not very well. Uh, still haven't quite figured that one out yet, but so be it. So we're on to plan B. Plan B is um, we've seeded all this broadcast seed, uh, 10 pounds of Zinnia and 10 pounds of Cosmos. And that'll be this year's bee pasture, those both annual uh, plants. Uh, at this point, getting clover to take, I'm not too confident in, so we're not gonna go back in clover just yet. That'll be, be this fall. Um, so let me turn you around. So I've already uh, broadcast all the seed I want on here. And what I'm up to right now, I've got the 1840 out with a little stick rake. It reminds me of a old time uh, tying weeder. And what I'm doing is just tickling it up a little bit. What I want to do is lightly, this is a pass here you can see, just real lightly incorporate the seed that I broadcast on. Uh, I didn't work it up obviously before I broadcast it because I just just want to lightly incorporate it. And uh, we got rain in the forecast for tonight and the next couple of days, which we desperately need. Um, but um, uh, we'll see how it goes. You can see uh, Real good growth of bindweed, which is disappointing, but not unexpected. And then uh, a lot of that green out there is volunteer buckwheat, which was last year's uh, late uh, summer, early fall uh, bee pasture forage crop. So um, this year, the plan originally was get a good solid stand of uh, variety of clovers in here uh, control weeds via mowing and let the uh, clover otherwise take over um, that obviously didn't work as planned so it goes uh, the biggest challenge with plan B is I have will have no way uh, to control the weeds so I've got to kind of accept that. I think I'm in a spot where it's either just going to go to weed and buckwheat, or uh, which I'd rather not have, or uh, I guess kind of got to bite the bullet, try something out, see how it works, and that's what we're up to. So we're going to get on the little tractor here and um, tickle it up with this, uh, this little thing and just real lightly incorporate that seed. I don't want to get it in too deep um, or anything like that. Just, just enough to maybe give it a light cover and then we'll go from there. So anyway, uh, bring you back later. All right, so we got this first section done. It's pretty much doing what I wanted. Just, just scratching it up and uh, giving a light cover to that broadcast seed <clears throat> it uh, doesn't have a ton of effect on you know a lot of the existing plants and stuff it might be tearing a few of them out but not very many in reality and sometimes you know it's a little tough to control on a three-point hitch given uh, where we're at but this is still fine so it isn't gonna set the buckwheat back but uh, I'm going to assume that the buckwheat's going to be far enough ahead of the stuff I want that I'll probably be able to mow it off before too long and then uh, the bindweed that's a whole nother problem I might just have to come in here and with a hoe and get that best I can rather not have it 
So anyway, um, this section's done. I just I planted alternating swaths of Cosmo and Zinnia, so I went in this direction, kind of keeping that way. That's me getting artistic. So we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, bring you back. done you know again just like I said just just a light scratch so I just wanted to incorporate that seed that was sitting on top of the ground and um, we'll see what happens so uh, I'll be anxiously awaiting but um, Anyway, uh, this is the bee pasture project. Um, like I said, we kind of had a fail with the clover. You never know, scratching it up like this, breaking up the crust, and if we get some rain on it, I might see I might see more clover than I'm expecting. I'm not holding my breath, but uh, you never know. You never know. So, hang on. So you never know if we'll get more clover or not. Uh, but if we do, we do. Yay. If we don't, we don't. Okay. Uh, that's the way she goes. Um, and then, um, we will, uh, we'll just kind of see what happens from there, you know? Um, but, uh, the idea here is to create a uh, pasture for the bees over there behind me. And, uh, Give them something to work on during the summer months when uh, a lot of the bloom is otherwise gone. And then, uh, but you know, right now we got uh, bush honeysuckle coming on. We'll have some locusts here soon. Uh, we still, you know, the clover's going to be coming on. So we've got a lot of forage coming up here in the next, uh, you know, month or so. They're going to make hay with that. Crush fingers. And uh, then hopefully uh, we get 45 days into this, we'll have some some other blooms for them to uh, keep keep occupied with. We'll see. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. You know, uh, I know uh, my videos are kind of all over the place. This isn't much of a, a farm, as I've said many times. Uh, however, um, you know, I, I am kind of experimenting with things. You might find it interesting. You might find it completely boring. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I appreciate every subscription. If you like it, give me a like. Make a comment. Ask a question if you want. Whatever you like to do. But, um, you know, through the process, uh, we'll all learn something together. Um, I've never planted a acre plus of flowers before. <laughs> Many acres of strawberries, many acres of row crops, but never an acre of flowers plus. Uh, so this is new for me. We'll see what happens. I'm probably messing it up, but uh, you know, you don't try, you don't know. And that's my attitude. We'll know after we, uh, we'll know. So, and I'll be, I'll share the results with you. Good, bad, or indifferent. Thanks a bunch.